peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slay Hope. And I got another video for y'all. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all two different clips about the type of man that these women like, right? And that they usually chase and go after. Regardless of what they say, majority of women are engaging in this type of behavior. And we always hear the rhetoric of my body, my choice. But what goes along with my body, my choice is your consequences and your responsibility. Which is something that our sisters don't want no parts of. They don't want no accountability, no responsibility. They don't want nothing to be held against them for their actions. Um, but nah, we ain't going for that. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how these clips. And then I'm going to come back to my commentary. That again, which, how, many, how many kids? 24. 14 boys uh -huh. and 16 girls. How many kids is that? 30? 35. 35. No, I, I don't believe. 37 grandchildren, 11 great grand and 9 great great grand. Wow. Right. What? Look. And then um, 20 big rounds. Look. All these are my daughters. She's just Damn. 30, 31. Mm -mm. Look. Well, that's, that's my daughter again. My son. Mm. All, all these. Look. That's great. And big man, you're how old? 84. 83. 83. 83. Where I put 84 for me fat? <laughs> <laughs> all these are my daughters. 80 plus. How is your firstborn? Huh? How old your first book? 60. Oh, damn it. I said 50. I said you look 50. <laughs> <laughs> 33 years you younger. I would have took out. Oh, I, 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 I want to give you back your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> the I now, notice how that man is 83 years old. He has 30 kids and 24 baby moms. Right? And I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know if I should go into my commentary or if I should wait. Um, but these are just some of the things that are going on, right? And a lot of our sisters will be in denial of this. Before I go into my other video, just keep these stats in mind, right? 65% of black women are single mothers. We ain't talking about the women that got married and, and got separated and, you know, the fathers are still in the life. You know, because that's not a single mom, right? If you got support from a parent, you're not a single parent, okay? Um, so, yeah, 65% of black women are single mothers, right? The average black woman come with 2.5 kids. Average black woman, right? 54% of black men don't have no children and are single and never been married, right? So it's safe to say that more women come with children than men, right? Also, 20, about 15 to 18% of black men have multiple baby mothers and multiple children. So a lot of these women are having sex. They're getting impregnated by a small percentage of men in the black community, which we like to call the Pookies and the Ray Rays. Because these men are not usually the men at the top of the ladder. They're usually men at the bottom, the lowest of the low, right? I don't know if they think these men are the most masculine, I don't know why they give their womb, their precious womb to these men, right? And then they turn around and complain and say that they are no good men. I really don't get it. I don't even be trying to understand women. And I tell y'all all the time, don't try to understand them. Just know their nature, learn their nature, and know, you know, what they kind of do usually. Because a, a lot of women are different, yet similar, right? So just pay attention to some of the things that are, that are usual in their nature right don't try to figure it out why they do it and understand all that crap because you're gonna hurt yourself and hurt your brain you might get an aneurysm trying to understand them but here's the other video so 14 kids i think you had 10 last time he was on here 14 man. plus 14 plus yeah. <laughs> i tell you you ain't done is you <laughs> i uh i look <laughs> I'm going to be real. You want to be real? Come on, be real with us. No, nah, I ain't done. <laughs> I ain't done. <laughs> I, ain't done. <laughs> I told y'all print this shit, so it's really bad. As long as you take care of it, it's all good. So that ain't even matter, you feel me? I got the mamas and the, bo and the babies, you feel me? So all of them got different babies. All of them got different baby mamas. I got all of them too, you feel me? I'm on some boss shit, you feel me? I told you I'm printing this shit. Real, for real. That's a lot of mouths to feed, bro. I ain't tripping. I put on pretty shit. Yeah. Notice, <laughs> notice some of the women in the video 
when this man was sitting there talking about he got 14 plus kids and different baby mamas. Notice how the girls in the video is like, whoo, 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 they playing with their hair. They're like, the girls on top of the stage getting hot. Like, yo, you can't make this shit up, man. And of course, people are going to be like, it's not every, of course it's not everybody, right? 65% is a high ass number already, right? That's already more than half, right? So it's safe to say more than half. But a lot of people, there's <laughs> a lot of people tend to be in denial of this. I tell you this all the time. Women like men who have other options. Don't listen to them. You have a small minority of women who might be like, I want my man just for me. Even those women, to a certain extent. Nobody wants to feel like, damn, I'm the only one that wants you. I'm the only one that settled for you. At least that's how the women think. I'm the only one that wants you. I'm the only one that gave you a chance. I'm the only one giving you some coochie. You ain't got nobody else. A lot of times, when they realize you don't have no options, they treat you like shit a lot of times. They Because they be like, you can't get nobody else. And if they willing to treat you like that, it's because they don't respect you. Right? And a woman that doesn't respect a man, that's, that is a, 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 you are for a rude awakening. That's going to be a poor relationship if a woman don't respect you. Right? Now, so they tend to respect the guys who, they'll treat them like, I'll leave you. I'll leave you today. Because I got, man, what? I call somebody, what? And I know a lot of our sisters are going to be in denial, but this is the truth. There's also a study that says that, like, um, like men went out and wore fake wedding bands, right? And that they got more attention having a wedding band on than not having it on. So what does that tell you about women, bro? What does that tell you? A woman is more prone to try to steal your husband than a man trying to steal your wife. What does that tell you? Now, the Pookies and the Ray they don't care because they're they trying to smash. They're not trying to steal your wife. They're just trying to smash them. Shit, shit, they might get her pregnant and send her back to you. That's just how some of these dudes, these Pookies and Ray Rays operate. But the point is, this man has 14 plus kids, and all of them got different baby moms. He sounds remedial as hell. He sounds like he, he don't even got a post-secondary education. He's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's not just because he's from the South, man. You, you can kind of like, when people, come on. You can hear certain things, right? Come on. Like, like, let's, like he's sound like, I take you on, man. you know? Come on, like, how, what's the longevity? And he want more kids. It's not just them. And I know y'all thinking it's just rappers. Like, listen. It's a whole bunch of regular little dirks out here. Futures. These dudes that I just showed y'all the video. NBA young boy who has herpes. It's still out here getting new baby moms. Pregnant. They don't care. Like, it's something going on in the psyche of our sisters. And I'm not saying this shit trying to shit on them. I'm just trying to like, yo, something is really wrong. To, to, for you to be okay with being a baby mother? Don't You don't really care about marriage? You don't really care about commitment? You don't really care about a nuclear family? You don't care about that shit? A lot of people is okay with, a lot of these sisters are okay with baby showers. Being the, the fifth baby mom, the sixth baby mom. A lot of these chicks are having children with men that they know don't take care of their other kids like that. And then they turn around and say, where are the good men? Where are the good men? And then once they got like five kids, they want to settle with a good man. They want a man who don't have no, like, what's going on up there? This is what's going on. You got to protect your womb, man. Y'all just be letting anybody in your womb. And don't try to deflect the responsibility and be like, but why the men? It's your body, your choice. Remember that. So it's going to be your responsibility. Okay? In your consequences, you're the one that could possibly die giving birth for a pookie and a ray ray? For a dude that's just going around getting everybody pregnant? Because some of these men think that's manly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got mad kids. They don't care. Some of these dudes don't care about creating broken homes. And then the cycle continues. The cycle continues. They, they have men who grow up in broken homes without their dads, without the presence of their father, without the discipline. 
And then they do the same thing, the cycle. I don't even realize how y'all contributing to the cycle. People sit here and call y'all the mothers of civilists. That's why I be like, why y'all calling these women the mothers of civilization? They don't, they don't, they don't even have no discipline with their womb. You just want to blame the man. It's your body, your choice. You pick and choose who you lay down with. You pick and choose who you lay down with. That's one. You pick and choose who you let go into you without a condom. You pick and choose. Whether or not to take the morning after pill. You pick and choose not to be on birth control. You pick and choose not to have an abortion. You pick and choose to have that child. So we're going to place a little more responsibility on you. And y'all can't stand to bear responsibility. Y'all just can't. And I keep telling y'all. Stop forgetting the second part of my body, my choice. My body, my choice means my responsibilities. Taking accountability. And living with the consequences. Because you can sit here and blame man all you want. But you're the one that got to hold that shit down. You're the one that got to raise that child. You're the one that's going to, for the most part, be in that child's life. You're the one that's going to struggle. Somebody have sold y'all this dream that it is okay to be a single mom. Y'all thinking y'all so strong. And a lot of these women are out here lying to y'all. They're lying to y'all. They're getting out here on the internet and telling y'all, oh, they living a marvelous life being a single mom. They're lying to y'all. A lot of these women are struggling. They're crying behind the scenes. They're stressing. They're, they have anxiety. They're depressed. Suicidal. All type of shit. But they're not telling you that. I know successful. Don't get me wrong. And there's some women who, you know what? They made genuine mistakes. Somebody beat them in the head. They're not continuing on that path. They're not continuing in that path, right? But then there's some women who they just they just don't care. Like I said, broke women, I mean broke women, broke people smash the most, man. They don't got nothing else to live for but have kids and, and get on drugs because drugs make them feel good and having sex make them feel good. And having a child gives them some type of something worth living for because everything they see around them is deplorable, right? But we have to be better as a community, man. We are contributing to broken homes, men and women. But the women have a certain degree. Of responsibility because it's your womb. It's your sacredness. And y'all not taking heed. You just want to point to the other dude. Listen, that man going to dip. And nine times out of ten, you probably knew what type of dude he was when you lay down with him. So why you? Come on. Y'all supposed to be the smartest group. Y'all say this all the time. Y'all the smartest group. Y'all the most educated according to y'all. To, to y'all own statistics. Wherever y'all made them shits up from. But y'all making stupid ass decisions. So it's hard for me to really be like, you, you are smart. When you constantly making dumb decisions. You know, 85% of the people behind bars came from a single parent home. Usually a mother. Usually a mother. 85%. And I know y'all be crying like, why are you only putting the blame on me? Because you have a degree of responsibility with your baby making machine between your legs. So we gonna put a little more responsibility on you. That man can't lay down with you unless you let him. What, what don't y'all understand? That man cannot lay down with you and ejaculate in you unless you let him. Unless you give him the key to your coochie. Otherwise, it's rape. That's a crime. We're not even talking about that. We're not even talking about crimes here. Black women have the most abortions. Like, how is it that you have more abortion than white women, but you still having more kids than them? You still having more children than them. Even though you abort probably like five times the amount of abortions they had. There's a report out there talking about black women have aborted nearly 20 million fetuses. I don't know how true that is, so I don't even want to get into that. But if that shit is true, that's crazy. That just shows carelessness. Because I don't, let's not talk about the abortions from rape. Let's not talk about the ones who come from, you know, um, medical reasonings and, you know, trying to save the life of, of the woman or, or for whatever other reason. Let's not talk about that. We talk about the careless ones. That's what I want to highlight. Like, we have, sisters, we got to be a little more responsibility. I'm not sitting here trying to save y'all and tell y'all what type of men to pick. 
But let's stop with the bullshit. Where are the good men when y'all constantly sit here and pick the Pookies and the Ray Rays over the good guys that are the boring, that are no fun, that are they seem to be a little responsible because a lot of them don't really be running. They don't got no kids, right? So let's stop. Let's stop. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's clear that something that's not right up there because most of y'all keep making the wrong decisions. Um, so again, some women gonna take heed. Hopefully some of y'all take heed and y'all be a little more responsible with y'all universe. And the rest of y'all, it is what it is. But let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Have a good one. Peace.